What's up, guys? Anders here again. Uh, so we're going to be doing Val's a World Boss today. It comes out every Sunday. And just kind of wanted to go over it really quickly, just the whole process of it. Uh, you should be uh, at Val. This is where Val is, out in the ocean. You will need a compass if you want to know. But you can probably just go directly from this island north, and you'll see a bunch of ships all lined up here. About 10 minutes before the boss appears, you'll see this giant... Uh, tornado or hurricane looking thing don't want to get too close to it it does damage to you and your ship and uh, once you have your ship on a, a lined up you may have to move once the the boss actually gets summoned uh, but for the most part we should be okay i think just gonna go over the process of what it's like to kill bell and uh, what you're gonna probably be doing every single week what you want to try and do also is be in a platoon we're not in a platoon uh, right now, but usually in chat or um, if you're in a guild, they may be doing Vel. Uh, right now, we don't have either option. Uh, there's not that many people on this server doing it. Uh, it doesn't really matter. It's all the same boss on multiple servers. So whatever damage you do here will be um, contributing to whatever damage everyone else is doing in other servers. So now the boss has been summoned and these pillars will be rising. Um, we are pretty good, I think. So we're just on the cusp, I would say, of where we should be. We shouldn't be inside these pillars. This is kind of like showing you where you want to be at the very edge here. So we're at the very edge here as well. And uh, we're waiting for Val to kind of pop up here. This, the concept is very simple. You need a cannon, so a ship with a cannon will suffice. And then you just press left click with shift held and you go up to 100% and then fire and you'll see Val showing up there. And if you miss, don't worry too much about it. Just uh, wait for the barrel to be done overheating. Do the same thing, shift left click, hold it all the way so you have max range and then just let it go. And if you hit the boss, you'll see the, the health bar at the top. And that's pretty much all you need to do. Uh, just wait for the, I believe, two to three enrages. Once that happens, I'll show you what to do. If you have a shark outfit or a fishing outfit, that is useful. But there are two options that you can do. Once he enrages, he will charge up an attack that will one-shot you. The way to get around that is to go underwater and swim very far down and then swim back up once he's done doing the attack. Or you can hold on to a cannon. The tricky thing is that once he enrages, he will uh, kind of take you out of the cannon. You won't be able to get hold of the cannon or the wheel for a bit of time. But don't, you know, don't worry too much. You'll be able to do it right before he does the attack. There's a bunch of t attacks. There's a bunch of little ads that attack your ship as well. The damage they do is negligible, to be honest, so you don't have to worry too much about it. Just kind of keep on shooting. The more damage you do, the higher contribution you'll do. And as far as I know, we now have two bundles, the normal bundle. So here we go. Enrage happened. Vel is enraged. So just kind of stand near the cannon. And hoping the game doesn't bug out. There you go. Press R to hold on to it. And just wait for him to come back. And that's his massive attack there. He just jumps in the air. And as soon as he hits, all that is damage. They will one-shot you if you're not holding on to anything. Or if you're not uh, swimming down far enough. Well, all we didn't needed to do was hold on to the cannon again. Sometimes it does bug out where you can't hold on to the cannon fast enough. Uh, that can happen, so if that does happen to you, you can press V to turn into the red orb. Right before the attack happens, you can kind of immune the entire thing. But that is a bit tricky. So just keep on doing the what I told you to do earlier. Shift left click. As much damage as you can do. So you get maximum damage contribution. So you can get the uh, the best reward bundle. The chances of actually getting a Vel's Heart, uh, which is what you do this world boss for, uh, the best alchemy stone in the game. It gives you three sheet AP on top of some really good alchemy destruction stats. Um, on top of that, 
gives you some money as well. The accessories aren't as good anymore. So really you're only doing this for the Vel's heart. Very, very low drop though. I've never seen it personally uh, for myself. Although I've seen people just go there one time and get it. Which is, uh, you know, it, it does happen. Here we go. He's about less than half done. Should only take about 10 minutes, honestly, this boss. So uh, the worst part is getting here. You have to kind of get here. There is a warning about 30 minutes before the, the boss spawns. So you do know when you have uh, to set off from Velia, usually, to get here. And he does this attack. Again, very little damage, to be honest. I think we have one more attack before he enrages. Let's see. Again, we want to stay outside of the circle of ceiling stones. All right, so he's he's enraging again one more time. He's going to walk back and forth here. There we go. Just hold on to it. See, that took a little longer than before. Sometimes it does that, but we're okay. We, uh, we managed to grab onto something before he he dropped from the jump and uh that's pretty much should be the last one he usually dies these days uh before he does a third enrage but uh, we'll see just try and do as much damage as possible and then the reward bundle will be sent to your black spirit safe it used to be that you had to swim out there no no longer uh once he is done uh it's over you can just kind of start sailing home Although some people have, if they're in guilds, they have a an alt kind of just sitting here. So every Sunday they log into that alt and um, they just kind of get credit and they don't have to go back. Oh, I think he's dead. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so it says we got a reward. We got the advanced reward because we got uh, max damage. I was alone, so again, if you can't join a platoon or anything like that, don't feel like you're going to miss out. There you go. And then the reward bundle. We can go here. Pick it up from our Black Spirit safe. So we'll collect it here. And then we'll go here and open it. And then uh, let's see what else we got. So we got black stones, coral pieces. This is Vel's fine powder. This is what you need to repair the Vel's alchemy stone. Uh, some gold bars, kaffir stone, ancient dust, golden pearls, hunter seals, and crown stones. This is pretty typical of what you'll get. Nothing, uh, we didn't get any of the rare drops. But that's just RNG. And that's pretty much it. Um, that's Vel in a nutshell. Pretty simple to do, but uh, I understand it can be a little confusing at first. Getting home is a little bit also difficult. Um, if you want a trick, if you don't have a compass like I do right now, you can just kind of sail towards the, the southern border of the minimap and you'll head towards Velia. Pretty simple. That's pretty much it, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Hey, guys. Anders here. If you've enjoyed this video, please like and sub to the channel. If you haven't already, every sub counts as we continue to grow. If you want to go the extra mile and support the channel, you can always click on the join button below the video or on my main channel page to offer a monetary contribution to help keep the channel going. Every membership donation will give you some small perks and a personal thank you after every video I make. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Stay safe.